Could a Swedish fighter jet, known for its stealth and advanced capabilities, redefine North American air defense? Imagine the Gripen E, a contender for Canada's NORAD missions, operating with a silent, undetectable edge. This isn't just about a new aircraft, it's about a potential paradigm shift in how we secure our skies against evolving threats. Discover how the Gripen's revolutionary stealth features could give Canada an undeniable advantage in NORAD operations, making our airspace virtually impenetrable. Learn why this agile, high-tech fighter isn't just an upgrade, but a strategic leap forward in national security, capable of deterring and defending against the most advanced aerial challenges. In 2025, the skies above North America are no longer just a line of defense, they're a frontier of uncertainty. NORAD, the North American Aerospace Defense Command, faces a new kind of threat. Hypersonic missiles, stealth drones, and electronic warfare that can blind radars in seconds. But amid this storm of evolving dangers, a question echoes through Canada's defense circles. Is the old way of defense still enough, or is it time for a smarter guardian of the skies? Enter the Gripen EF. Built not to dominate through size or price, but through brains, adaptability, and precision. Unlike billion-dollar giants that demand massive bases and endless budgets, the Gripen offers something different. Freedom. Freedom to launch from a stretch of road. Freedom to refuel and rearm in minutes. And most importantly, freedom from dependence. For Canada, a nation balancing alliance commitments and sovereignty, that's not just appealing, it's strategic. But here's where the story gets interesting. The Gripen's advantage isn't just about stealth in the radar sense, it's about tactical invisibility. Being so flexible, so unpredictable, that even powerful adversaries can't pin you down. That's the real stealth edge, one that goes beyond coding and radar cross-sections. It's the stealth of strategy, not just of shape. Friends, make sure to like this video and subscribe to Skyjet Wings for more deep, original defense analysis. Stealth today isn't only about what the enemy can't see, it's about what the enemy can't track, can't target, and can't predict. The Gripen's real strength lies in tactical agility, a blend of electronic muscle, smart shaping, and flight performance that turns defense into an active, moving advantage. At the heart of that agility is the Gripen's Electronic Warfare Suite, EWS, a compact, highly integrated system that does three jobs at once, detect, deceive, and degrade. It senses hostile emissions faster, classifies them on the fly, and injects carefully timed jamming and decoys. That means an adversary's radar can be overwhelmed or misdirected before an interceptor even gets within missile range. Translated to NORAD missions, the Gripen can buy minutes, often the difference between an intercepted threat and a missed window. Then there's the airframe. The Gripen's small radar cross-section isn't an accident. It's an outcome of deliberate design and modern materials. Angular shaping reduces returns, while advanced stealth coatings absorb and scatter radar energy. Combined, these measures don't make the jet invisible. They shrink the signature, pushing it below the detection thresholds of smaller, tactical radars and complicating a long-range engagement solution. In a vast theater like Canada, where early detection windows are already thin, Shaving off seconds by delaying detection is a force multiplier. Finally, supercruise. The ability to sustain high subsonic or low supersonic speed without relying on afterburners is more than a bragging right. It's a tactical weapon. Supercruise keeps the jet fast and thermally quieter for extended periods, enabling long intercept runs across Canada's enormous patrol areas while conserving fuel and reducing infrared exposure. For NORAD, that translates to faster response times, longer on-station endurance, and the flexibility to reposition rapidly between multiple vectors of threat. Put together, 
EWS, low RCS, and Super Cruise, and the Gripen stops being just a small fighter. It becomes a smart node in an integrated air defense web, evasive, disruptive, and fast. For Canada's NORAD challenge, where geography punishes the slow and rewards the clever, that tactical agility is often worth more than headline stealth numbers. In modern air defense, victory isn't just about the aircraft you fly, it's about the network you belong to. NORAD lives and dies by information. Who sees first, who reacts faster, and who connects the dots better? And this is where the Gripen quietly rewrites the rulebook. The Gripen's data link architecture isn't just compatible with NATO systems, it's built for them. Its secure two-way link, inspired by Sweden's Link 16 and proprietary titles, allows Gripen pilots to share radar, electronic, and targeting data almost instantly, machine to machine, pilot to pilot, and jet to command. For NORAD, that means every Gripen becomes both a sensor and a transmitter, extending the radar horizon without deploying more infrastructure. It's like adding new eyes to the sky, eyes that think and react in real time. This synergy is powered by what engineers call sensor fusion, the art of combining feeds from radar, IR sensors, electronic intelligence, and even satellite inputs into one coherent picture. The Gripen doesn't just collect data, it interprets it, ranks threats by danger level, and feeds a clean, unified snapshot directly to NORAD's command and control centers. The result? Faster decisions, fewer mistakes, a tighter defensive grid over one of the largest airspaces on Earth. But what really changes the game isn't just digital, it's practical. The Gripen's design philosophy, easy maintenance, modular parts, low operating cost, fits Canada's NORAD role perfectly. While fifth-generation jets like the F-35 boast stealth and complexity, they come with heavy support chains, expensive parts, and long downtimes. The Gripen, by contrast, can be serviced by small teams in the field, ready to relaunch within hours. For a country where bases are scattered across frozen distances, efficiency isn't luxury, it's survival. In a NORAD context, interoperability isn't just about talking to allies, it's about doing more with less, faster. And if that's the new definition of readiness, then the Gripen may just be the game-changer NORAD never saw coming. In the Arctic, nature itself becomes the first enemy. Temperatures that kill engines, winds that blind sensors, and distances so vast that even advanced fighters struggle to cover them. For NORAD, defending this frozen frontier isn't just a challenge. It's a test of endurance, technology, and will. But the Gripen doesn't fear the cold. It was forged in it. Developed in Sweden, where winter lasts half the year, the Gripen has logged thousands of hours in sub-zero operations. It starts fast, flies steady, and fights flawlessly in conditions that would ground most jets. Its systems are cold weather certified, from hydraulics to avionics, tested in Arctic circles where machines either adapt or fail. And that adaptability goes beyond survival. The Gripen's ability to operate from short, unprepared, or even icy roadways gives it a tactical edge unmatched by heavier fighters. It can land, refuel, and rearm with minimal ground crew sometimes in under 10 minutes. For Canada's dispersed NORAD territories, where air bases are hundreds of kilometers apart, that flexibility turns geography from an obstacle into a strategic weapon. This dispersed operation capability means more than mobility. It means survivability. In a contested Arctic environment, where fixed bases could be early targets, Gripens can vanish into the landscape, hidden, unpredictable, ready to strike from anywhere. That's Arctic resilience, the power to endure, adapt, and respond even when the battlefield freezes over. And here's the truth. When the North turns hostile, it's not the most expensive jet that survives. It's the one that can fly when others can't. 
For NORAD, that makes the Gripen not just an aircraft, but a promise that even at the edge of the world, Canada will never be unguarded. In the modern battle space, dominance isn't bought, it's engineered. And the Gripen represents a kind of engineering that values agility over arrogance, clarity over complexity, and independence over dependence. Its stealth isn't just skin deep, it's systemic. The Gripen hides not by vanishing from radar, but by confusing, outmaneuvering, and outthinking it. Its electronic warfare suite turns chaos into control, while supercruise and sensor fusion make it an intelligent node in a living network. And when it comes to operating in unforgiving Arctic terrain, the Gripen simply doesn't flinch. So, could a so-called lightweight fighter truly redefine North American air defense? Maybe the question isn't whether it can, but whether Canada is ready for what it represents. A shift from expensive prestige to sustainable power. A system that values resilience over reliance. A jet that proves strength isn't always loud. Sometimes it's quiet, efficient, and relentless. For decades, NORAD has stood as a symbol of cooperation, a shield shared by two nations. But the future will demand more than shared systems, it'll demand shared adaptability. And in that race, the Gripen's blend of stealth, electronic cunning, and operational freedom could become a decisive edge, not just for Sweden or Canada, but for the stability of the entire continent. So, what do you think? Could the Gripen really reshape the future of North American air defense? Or is it simply too bold a leap for traditional systems to accept? Share your thoughts below. I'd love to hear your take. And if you enjoy deep, fact-based defense analysis like this, make sure to Skyjet Wing subscribe and hit subscribe, tap that bell icon, and join our flight toward the future of military aviation.